JBN, we keep you informed. News in 5 for April 27, 2019. Crawford and Orton sworn in as senators. Stop allowing your children to walk on lonely roads, says Charmin Shand. Female security guard stabbed to death in Kingston. Man fatally shot by cop in Kingston. And body of missing Manchester teen recovered at Alligator Pond. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items. Crawford and Orton sworn in as senators. Opposition Senator Damon Crawford has thanked his peers on the government side for the way they treated him during the recent by-election campaign in Portland Eastern. Crawford is speaking after being welcomed back to the Senate by both government and opposition members after losing the April 4 by-election to the Jamaica Labour Party's Anne-Marie Vaz. First-time Senator Dr. Andre Orton also took his seat in the Hopper House to an ovation by legislators on both sides. Orton replaces resigned opposition Senator Noel Slowly. Crawford said he was very appreciative of how his colleague senators on the government side approached the campaign. What was said, how I was greeted, generally, I am appreciative and I feel as if I'm a friend and I'm grateful for that, he said. They were very active for their party, but they weren't against me, he added. Crawford had stated publicly that he was not happy with some of the utterances by senior members of the Jamaica Labour Party, singling out Darrell Vaz and Floyd Green. This morning, however, he thanked his opposition colleagues, joking that they worked very hard to get rid of me from the Senate. Even Senator K.D. Knight regained renewed youth. It never worked out, Crawford said to laughter. Stop allowing your children to walk on lonely roads, says Charmin Chand. The head of the Center for the Investigation of Sexual Offenses and Child Abuse, Superintendent Charmin Chand, is urging parents to stop allowing their children to walk alone on deserted roads. Chand was speaking on Thursday evening at a community forum in Sterling Castle, St. Andrew West Rural, a week after the body of eight-year-old Shante Skyers was found in bushes. Shante was reported missing after she failed to return from the Red Hill Primary School on April 12. Our children are being abused and we are seeing it and are not talking, Shante told residents gathered at the Sterling Castle New Testament Church at the forum organized by the Jamaica Constabulary Force. She said parents and community members must take responsibility for their children. According to Shande, since the start of the year, there have been 55 reported cases of child abuse. Last year, there was a total of 856 reported cases of abuse in Kingston and St. Andrew only, and children were the victims in 80% of the cases. Shan does beseech residents to keep a close watch on their children. My last son is 21, and I still watch him daily. I don't care if he feels he's too old for it because he's my son, she said. In the meantime, one resident, Elise Bethune, said the police are not able to effectively serve the community as there is only one police car at the Red Hills Police Station and 16 cops to cater to 25,000 residents. She also said residents are at a greater risk of danger because the sole street light in a section of the community often malfunctions. There is only one light that has its own personality. It works sometimes and sometimes it doesn't. Children then find the shortest path, which is to walk close to Blue Hole, which is closer to the school, she said. Skyer's body was found in Blue Hole. To compound the problems, Bethune said it cost a total of $600 to pay taxi drivers to bring students to and from school in Red Hills, and most parents cannot afford it. Female security guard stabbed to death in Kingston. The police are reporting that 43-year-old Diana Seville, a security guard of St. John's Road, Spanish Town, St. Catherine, died as a result of stab wounds she received while working at Mackenzie Drive in Tivoli Gardens in Kingston on Thursday night, April 25. The Denham Town Police report that about 7.50 p.m., a colleague discovered Seville lying motionlessly on the ground and summoned them. On arrival of the lawmen, she was seen with stab wounds. She was pronounced dead at hospital. Man fatally shot by cop in Kingston. One Taurus 9mm pistol with a magazine containing six 9mm cartridges was seized and one man fatally shot during a confrontation with a policeman on Elgin Street, Kingston 14 on Wednesday. The deceased has been identified as 27-year-old Cedric Thomas of Albert Town, Kingston 14. The Denham Town Police said that about 3.10pm, Thomas reportedly shot and injured a man 
According to the police, while fleeing the scene with the firearm in hand, he allegedly challenged the policeman and was shot. He was pronounced dead at hospital. The matter was reported to the Inspectorate of Constabulary and the Independent Commission of Investigations, which have launched probes. Body of missing Manchester teen recovered at Alligator Pond. The search for a teen who disappeared after he went swimming at a river in Manchester came to an end on Thursday when his body was discovered on the Alligator Pond beachfront in the parish. Reports from the Alligator Pond police saw that 16-year-old Christopher Wellington and his family members were swimming at Port Kaiser River on Monday when he left to swim in the adjoining sea and later disappeared. The police and members of the Marine Division were contacted and a search conducted to no avail. However, another search party was organized consisting of the Alligator Pond Police, local fishermen and family members, leading to the discovery of Wellington's body about 11.45 a.m. on Thursday. The body was removed to the morgue and awaits a post-mortem examination. JBN, we keep you informed. Please remember to like, subscribe, share, leave us a comment and click the notification bell to receive our daily news items.